hey, I'm getting ready to do a self a self hypnosis session. So I thought it'd be cool to record it. Kind of me setting up real quick. I'm gonna actually read a paragraph or two of of text beforehand to just to, just so you can kind of gauge where I'm at right now and then I will go through the hypnosis which is about 45 minutes so I'll I'll speed it up for you so you don't just sit there for 45 minutes but I'll come back and I will read the same few paragraphs again afterwards so I'm gonna prep real quick this is just gonna roll and uh, Hope you enjoy and find a little value in this. Got the big comfy headphones. I almost started putting that in my ear. <laughs> not sure if you can see or not, but we're not in a closed studio here in the office today, so the so the dog and the cat are right here hanging out. We'll see if they jump around during. I'm going to read this paragraph real quick out of text. And then read it afterwards. It's three paragraphs from A Princess of Mars by Edgar Rice Burroughs. I am a very old man. How old, I do not know. Possibly I am a hundred, possibly more. But I cannot tell because I have never aged as other men, nor do I remember any childhood. So far as I recollect, recollect, I have always been a man, a man of about 30. I appear today as I did 40 years ago, and I yet, and yet I feel that I cannot go on living forever, that some day I shall die the real death from which there is no resurrection. I do know why I should fear death, I have, I do not know why I should fear death. I have died twice and am still, and am still alive, but yet I have the same horror of it as you who have never died, and it is because of this terror of death, I believe, that I am so convinced of my mortality. All right, catch you in a few. Wow. <laughs> Funny that June hopped up here during. Didn't throw me off too much though. But if you can tell right now, I'm still in a light trance. Haven't quite uh, recalibrated to the room yet. But it's a extremely good feeling. So I'm gonna go back here and read that paragraph again. Again, this is from A Princess of Mars by Edgar Rice Burroughs. I'm a very old man. How old, I do not know. Possibly I am a hundred, possibly more. But I cannot tell, because I have never aged as other men, nor do I remember any childhood. So far as I can recollect, I have always been a man, a man of about thirty. I appear today as I did forty years ago. I appear today as I did forty years and more ago, and yet I feel that I cannot go on living forever. 
that some day I shall die the real death from which there is no resurrection. I do not know why I should fear death. I, who have died twice and am still alive, but yet I have the same horror of it as you, who have never died, and it is because of this terror of death, I believe, that I am so convinced of my mortality. Beautiful. So let's talk real quick about self-hypnosis and hypnosis in general. We each, as human beings, have a subconscious and a conscious. The subconscious is where our habits are formed. Pretty much anything that's automatic, our speech patterns generally come from the subconscious, unless we're working consciously to either in, include more words or, for example, stop saying like all the time. I have, a, I have a habit of that if I'm not careful. Anyways, though, we have the subconscious and the conscious. And the subconscious is also where you have behaviors. And I believe that through working with self-hypnosis, you can begin to recalibrate the habitual patterns that get you into a stutter. And over time, you can work to basically you can work to basically you can work to basically eliminate them. This particular self-hypnosis is by a hypnotherapist named Duncan McColl. You can you can, you can buy it online and maybe in maybe in another video I'll go into more detail. But this is just kind of an example of the type of state change that you can get from a from a structured relaxing self hypnosis track. If this is the first video that you've seen of mine, please subscribe up above and you'll be notified when I post more videos. Until the next one, take care and have a good day.